Welcome to Not Fast, Just Furious. I'm Zach O'Mara, the producer, filling in for Kramer Santone, who had a little bit of a an icky accident. Literally, he's icky. It's very icky. Zach, you might you cup. I don't know. I'm joined here today by <laughs> Chaz Wilson. Thank you. Thank Travis Kramowski and Jairus Wolf. Hey. Well, don't say my last name on the show. We don't do that. <laughs> I don't want the weirdos knowing that. I don't want the weirdos knowing <laughs> Thank you, Chaz, no for making my drink. All right. Well, I'm not fast as fierce. Uh, we did the intro different this time, mainly because I just now realized how much work Kramer actually does on the oh, show. Oh, so let's get this out of the way. We are so <laughs> unprepared for this shit. Yeah, Kramer wasn't I didn't here. know I'd be doing the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Kramer isn't here this week because he's sick, and uh, I did not realize how Rip. much effort actually went into setting this shit up. So, uh, congrats, Kramer. Well, not congrats. I, you have my... Uh, we're very Caduce. thankful I give for you, Kramer. Caduce. Yeah, I give you Caduce. He's on FaceTime over here. You he can hear us. But, um... Say hello, Kramer. What's up, bitches? <laughs> I hope you heard that. I, I'm sure they did. This mic works pretty well. Yeah, but um, well. we'll go ahead and start the show. Oh. oh, they can hear you, 100%. I don't say, can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you, bud. All right, perfect. So, All right. without Kramer, we have a 1995 laptop yeah. that yeah. is recording, or is re- uh, video recording us. So if you're watching the YouTube video, we apologize. Well, no, I'm filming it. Okay, so our setup... Zach brought his very old laptop that he, is serviceable for him. That almost looks like it records better than Kramer's laptop. It actually, the oh, iPod? iPad looks very good. The iPad? iPad's a nut. Fucking okay. porn looks great right. on that, huh, bud? Oh, it does. Nice. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I forgot Twitter If you want to see what our setup looks yeah. like tonight, if you want to yeah. see what the setup looks like, we posted a picture on Twitter. <laughs> Feel free to mock us as we're mocking it's, ourselves. It's bad. It's bad. It, it, I hope oh, it we're going to laugh at it. I think it's going to come out fine, though. I think Kramer can mesh them together. Don't worry about like hurting our feelings because we, we've already we're, laughed. We're, we're going to talk on it. We're pretty much going to do Week in Review, which I would say my entire Week in Review all falls on New Year's. Same. And I think probably everybody else here would agree. Dude. Um, it was a hell of a time. We just I didn't really want to go out at the bars. It's amateur hour. Everyone's going to be out there getting stupid. Just good good nights to get yourself in some trouble. So we stayed in and came up here to Jairus' house in Savannah. And Oh, my gosh. just I mean, hell, we went out. and I won a fantasy football league. You had so, I, up? so I was like, I'm going to take all the money I won from that league and buy <laughs> liquor. And I was within $2. I spent all that money on liquor for the party. And uh, over two thousand dollars. No, <laughs> yeah, over two thousand dollars. <laughs> and uh, we just went crazy. I mean, Brody, bowl cut friend, you've probably oh seen stuff God, of him. Dude. He, he, he puked bad. I'll he, get, I'll he, get Brody credit. I'll shout him out. He did about twelve shots before he puked. He had a bottle of. He uh, fell three times. A bottle of nine gr- seconds. Bottle of green he fell apple. At least six times. Green apple triple sec, and he was just That's taking gross. shots of it. Oh, it was nice. it's very tart. And it was warm. It's not good. I mean, I can take shots of it. I took a couple with him, but he just kept Brody, doing it. And I don't think I saw Brody last night and without a shot glass in his hand. What I've learned with Brody, pretty much, if you just like, if you get Brody excited. He'll just take another shot. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. like, if you're just like, Brody, that was badass. You want to take another shot? He always goes, yeah. And then he gave me one. And we took, like, four in a row. So I was like, I really don't want another shot of that. He poured two shots, went to hand me the shot, and dropped it and spilt half of it. And then picked it up, and the glass was half full. And he was like, you get that one. And I was like, fine by me. Like, <laughs> this shit's nasty. I'm just trying to get you fucked up. And It's not that bad. It tastes just like a green apple sour candy. Yeah, that's what they But want. it's very sweet, so it's no wonder like he... a green apple sour candy you found in the trash can. Yeah, it's it's more, bad. I like it. More like a green apple John Kelly Rancher. Yes. It's, but it's so good. It, it's very it's very tart. But since Zach is trying to cover face here, we'll talk about his deal. And this might be one of the last things we talk about, because outside of that, it was just kind of like all inside and fun. But Jerry's has a pull out back. You can, it's behind his glass panes. And <laughs> it's frozen, obviously. Solid. And Zach Pretty solid. took it upon himself to go out there with a hockey stick and act like he was playing hockey. <laughs> Not and then, once. And then he was jumping. He was. He just kept going out there. A lot of possible recreational activities yeah. could have been played out there, but I was the one. Well, and he kept enjoying. jumping, and I didn't want him out there. I was kind of nervous. So I was like, if he falls in there, I don't know what we're going to do. And then at I one point, Jerris' brother's downstairs. And I'm like, oh, Zach's on the pool. And he's like, he's what? And he's like a little word. And we walk out the door and literally see Zach with a hockey stick swinging it over his head and pounding it on the ice. It was solid ice. I was Get that out of your teeth, point. bro. What is it? There's something in your teeth. It's fucking me up. That's what Kramer told me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking me up. Where is it? I think you just got it. Let me see. No, it's still in there. Get your phone out. You yeah, get your phone no, out. I got it. But, but, um, but here. That's basically the gist of that. I mean, it was... 
I think what we do. I didn't even. It was a good ass time. time, honestly. Like it was so we got good. Drunk. It was so good. We even stayed in Friday because we were so oh, tired. Oh, dude. Oh, we we recovered. <laughs> we recovered. I good. tried to rage Friday. No, you did. I, <laughs> I actually did. I was actually gonna go out, but no one wanted to go. But it was fine. I just went to bed at like nine o'clock and woke up. I got a lot of work done in the house. So. I went to bed at like eleven thirty. That's good. That's it. Early, early for Friday. Yeah, the dwelling. The dwelling got some work done to it, and it all worked out great. So. And then, uh, Zach, you got anything else to talk about on that? Um. I think we're just going to throw chest straight under the bus, if not. Yeah, my new year is pretty complete. Let's. Throw under the bus. I got to. I hope you got your thing ready. Kind of. Uh, all right. Well, but, all right, you got anything else to say? Winging it just a little bit here. Uh, it, 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 it was a good week. Yeah. I got special Happy special to see what the new year brings. New, Obviously, new special. year, new me. New year, me as well. What's, what's, what's no, that? shut the fuck I'm gonna up. I'm going to start drinking shitty on, beer and bro sweaters every night. New year, new me. And this new me is me feeling like crap for the first three days. What is it, two days of this freaking year? Kramer. I don't want this to be the new me. Kramer, you shouldn't have got COVID. Yeah. <laughs> you think, all right, so you think I went out one night just like, you know what, I'm going to get COVID. That's what I did, and I got it, and I didn't complain. <laughs> Kramer, yes, the fuck you did. Kramer, this show would be so much better if you didn't get COVID. I'm just throwing that out I know, here. trust me. Hey, trust me. I know. I seen the pictures. Um, I really I really trusted Zach because he was like, yeah, I got a laptop with a camera on it. I'm like, okay. Was it yesterday? I said, "Hey, let's uh, Emma, let me just show you how to record it on there." And he showed me like his screens were FaceTime each other. It's like, oh, this place is kind of pixel. It's a little fuzzy. Much of the lighting in my in my house. <laughs> I was hoping. Can can I get my side of the story? I didn't. Then realize, I'm giving my side of the story. I didn't realize Kramer was gonna be gone. Yes, I knew he had COVID and had to quarantine, but I it just didn't register. And then he's like, "Zach, bring your laptop. I'll teach you how to set it up. You can film the podcast." And I'm like, "Okay." And I find my old laptop, and I had always kept a piece of electrical tape with the webcam. Because I don't, I don't get off to the idea of people watch me get off. <laughs> I like privacy when I look up stuff on the internet. That's And I never thought to use the camera until now. Oh, it's and it's a web. shitty camera. That's my bet. Dark web. Dark web. Okay, and while all this is happening, and Zach's called I have a laptop I bought. It was actually like December 2018. Because my laptop crashed when I was still in college and I needed one. All it's got a 1080p camera and it's Windows 10 and all of that. And it's sitting at my house dead because, I mean, we could have brought it. Like, it would have actually worked. Travis is in every one of these group chats, so he saw Kramer and I's conversation. <laughs> Not once did he ever say, oh, if Zach's laptop doesn't work, I got this one. Well, I just trusted Zach. I thought Zach had a banging laptop. You fucked he, up there. Because I remember we used to play, like... <laughs> We used to play games all the time. A whole different laptop. Okay, see, that's a different laptop. I, I thought the same thing. Honestly, that laptop from 2008 probably had a better webcam than this like, one from 2016. Because, like, when we were running Gary's Mod, like, oh, I wish it would be lagging and yours would be going smooth. And then you brought this laptop. I was like, man, I thought mine was better than that. Might throw this one in the pool. We'll see what happens after. <laughs> all right. We need it. We do. Also, disclaimer: if the if those all those intros sound a little uh, quieter than normal, it's because Travis is using his phone instead yeah. of that iPad this time. Yeah, my iPad is the recorder. So I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm selfish. I want to be able to Snapchat during the podcast, so I don't want to use my phone to record because I didn't feel like logging in on my iPad because I don't know my password like every other person in the world. Who knows their password? That's Google. But um, we're gonna do an urban legend this week, which I know Chaz isn't necessarily an urban legend, but it's kind of like. We just kind of want this to go wherever. Topic, some really. form of story, some form of topic, and like not necessarily like maybe a scare. About a little bit. I would say more like a con- maybe a controversial, as long as maybe controversial rather than urban at times or conspiracy. urban legend. I guess would be the way to say it. more, more of a conspiracy or a. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but uh, more than like a legend, it'd be more of a conspiracy. Good. But I think that's clear. So we'll let you we'll let Chaz go. I mean, so I was definitely unprepared for this because I totally forgot this is my had, week. He's had three weeks to do Look. this. <laughs> He's yeah. legitimately had almost four weeks. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Chaz time, remember, Kramer? <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Damn. Oh, my bad. My bad. Uh, <laughs> shit on. Oh, you've done 30. It's like with Chaz time. I didn't say a damn word. <laughs> anyway, so my urban legend conspiracy theory type this week is uh, rappers selling their soul. Rappers slash entertainers. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, selling their soul or going to the Illuminati. Um, so there's been a lot of uh, 
done some research. There's a lot of rappers I've seen. Talk, talk about how, uh, like in their music, I mean, I'm trying to find some that uh, they like they talk about selling their soul to the Illuminati, and how like it's selling the soul to the devil. Yeah, they're like. Uh, I know a couple of sports. I know uh, Wes Walker, former wide receiver. He admits that he sold his soul to the devil, but I don't think that's true because, well, Super Bowl 2012, I won't talk about that. But When you guys say sold their soul to the devil, do you mean the actual devil not, not or like the that. Illuminati's as bad Illumin- as the devil? Illuminati. Yeah, like, no, Illuminati's it's, it's like, the same you know, concept. Like you're, okay. se- you're selling Just, your life to these like people when I was, for that. When I looked at that, they were showing like Hove, like Jay-Z doing this and all that. Yeah. Um, I, like, know, oh. I know Chris Brown and Rihanna. Oh. I know Chris Brown and Rihanna were a big one they talked about on that because like, if you think about it, well, like, cause they they came up together. Even like shit was controversial, you know. But they came up together, mm-hmm. and they had. I mean, what what were they? You know, they just came out of nowhere. They were just these two younger people, and it was kind of the idea of that where they came up with that. Which then Chris Brown later said that um, what was going on in his life and the way things happened or what caused him to act that way. Which I'm not defending him at all. Yeah, I'm that's, about just, that. that's but I'm saying like that shows the mentality. Yeah, but that's like the mentality where like you have two you have two seventeen year olds who just spontaneously become two of the most famous people in the world. Yeah, and like they came out of nowhere. Like there was no build up to them. They just, I mean, it's almost overnight. to the point they had to have help. It was overnight, and then they get there, and then they're put together in a relationship because it's this great Hollywood thing. And I mean, the, I mean, they're both probably going crazy. I yeah. mean, and this is where you kind of get like the whole soul your soul your soul things. It's like. You're just putting this environment, and no one's. You. It sounds great till you get it, and then no one knows what to do with it when you're there. Like one of the big ones was Jay Z is really big into that. Yeah, and they were talking about how Jay Z's first kid, Jay Z and Beyonce's first kid, yeah, was not that she was never pregnant. That's that's somebody else's kid. Yeah, and like I know the most recent thing I've seen about the Illuminati and rappers joining it was Polo G, who's been a big coming up rapper about that, and he talked about it back in June, I think. It's just, I don't know. I thought it was apology. They, uh, Do you believe it, though? Like, is there that... is a big conspiracy thing that the Illuminati killed Kanye's mom. Holy shit. What? Yeah, that was the I that was that. the big deal because it all kind of falls... It gets a little political in the end, but it all kind of falls this big spectrum of... Um, basically, Kanye West came in the game, and he was doing this certain just upbeat, almost... Not really, like, poppy, but kind of his own style... And it comes out and gets big, and then he starts changing his style drastically to another direction. And it's not necessarily a negative thing, but it's just so much different than what he became. He starts lashing out. You have all these instances where it's proven like he might have mental problems. And then about the time he starts doing things against the grain that causes problem, his mom passes. And uh, that's kind of the big thing where they think that Illuminati had something to do with the killing of his mom because he would no longer abide by what they wanted. So, I saw something about Lil Uzi doing that too, like... On a live interview, he said, I sold my soul to the devil. And I'm like, that's, I don't know, like, is this all like a joke or is this real? Like, <laughs> it's like, are you asking for help? Tom, <laughs> yeah. Blink like, twice if you're in danger. <laughs> like, well, that's a big thing. She looked at all of it and it's crazy to think about because, I mean, some of these people like literally do come out of nowhere. Yeah. Just a beaver. Like, well, not even like, just, like, just well, he was only 12. Does that well, really but count he's, though? How the fuck does a 12 year old, like, you know what I mean? How do you get the platform to become that when you're 12? That's true. I, I mean, he might have been older than twelve, but no, I think he was. Nah, we, he's he, twelve or thirteen. He was. Our, he's already. Yeah. 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 yeah, but but like how? But he got all his tattoos we, removed today, which is very weird. That's he did it for yeah. some yeah publicity thing. But it's crazy. But um, yeah. yeah but like it's some of that. Like what gets so special? They need, they're, this is gonna pick them up. You tell I didn't invite him. Um, it goes on, and um, I forgot what I was gonna talk about. Keep going. Uh. Justin Bieber growing up. Oh no, the Justin Bieber thing. Like when you're 12, 13 years old, what even like puts you in the situation to become that? Like your parents. But I mean, who are his parents? I mean, I don't know a whole lot about the thing, but his parents clearly aren't like anyone famous enough to automatically. Oh, I mean, he don't have a Will Smith There's as no a dad like Jaden Smith. Involved. Yeah. It's all like either luck or some other thing. Like yeah, like I'm like like Jaden Smith's a good example, and it's someone to look at. Like Jaden Smith had way more tools to succeed rather than Justin Bieber did. No, but I mean, Justin Bieber also got looked at by Usher. Like they kind of, oh, I'm yeah. pretty sure they were they were a family friend to Usher. So, really, that's I feel what, that's what that's what I think. That's what I heard. Now that you say that, that does sound familiar. No, yeah, that, that's right. I remember that. Uh, there was an article about how uh, Dr. Dre went to a desert. I don't remember where. He saw like a bunch of naked, like a group of naked people sitting there just burning down like a, a man made of wood. Nice. 
and all that. And I guess they're talking about how Dr. Dre is like a part of the Illuminati and all that, and how he's a big like co-founder. There's, there's a big ass fucking legit cool thing. I don't know if it's Illuminati thing, but they legit. Fuck, I can't think of what it's called. But Alex, Bohemian Alex, Jones. Alex Jones fucking snuck in and like Bohemian took pictures Grove. of it. Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove. Thank it. you. Thanks, Kramer. I heard you, buddy. Was he saying that too? Yes. My bad. <laughs> hey, where I was talking. But yeah, that's that's real. Yeah, that's real. Oh uh, yeah, it's called Dr. Dre started Burning Man. Some people believe uh, Dr. Dre stumbled on an early version of uh, Burning Man while scouting for video locations. Uh. They said, we met a bunch of crazy naked motherfuckers in the desert today. They were putting up some type of giant wood man. Then adds, someone should get behind this shit and make some loot off these fools. So then they, they're they talking about how Dr. Dre should be, like, help the so small is gatherings. How, is that how Dr. Dre started his beat, beat headphones? With some crazy motherfuckers naked in the desert? I don't I don't know if he used them necessarily. He probably left them out there. <laughs> like he was talking about how they turned the, he said, uh, help turn the small gatherings into a massive event. And it has became today as he continues to profit on it to this day. Dr. Dre's got a lot of fucking cash. So, I don't know how much of this is true or if any of it's true or if it's all just a big hoax again. So. But just like, going around, do you guys believe in it? The Illuminati is like something that it, it doesn't have They're to be exactly that. They're also saying Tupac that. faked his death to get away Every from big celebrity that's died in the last like fucking 30 years has had a fake, fake. death. No, I mean, it's... Because they're fucking talking about Juice World's death, but death being fake. I saw that when, he's it first not ha- when it first happened and all yeah. that, but, like... I mean, they're gonna bring that up, though. Exactly. I mean, that's I've been just seeing, how it's gonna work. I've been seeing videos about how Michael Jackson faked his death. That, I was, yeah, because uh, as I was going along with that, they were talking about how, like... Uh, yeah, he was killed. How uh, Michael Jackson and Drake made a song, and the song came out in 1984, and Drake wasn't born until 1983 or some shit, and, like, there was no way this was possible, but... I don't know. Tupac can kind of see being alive. Biggie, not so much. Who else, who else was a fake? Michael Jackson, I don't know. They said a doctor did that one, right? Oh, the doctor no, was murdered. Ma- Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston died from overdoses on pills that they were prescribed. But, but you also kind of have to look at that. I mean, like, Michael Jackson wants fucking three doses worth of pills that is going to kill him. He's the gonna doctor's going to fucking give it to him. I mean, uh, if his doctor doesn't give it to him, he's going to find someone. Yeah, to he's going to be Michael Jackson. So, like, you have money, too. So yeah, I'm, I'm like saying, I'm like, exactly. I mean, I don't know if he can necessarily be like, oh, the doctor just gave this to him. Like, he's going to get what he wants at the end of the day. Yeah. Whether or not it's right or wrong for him, he's well, going to I saw it, a photo. So. I don't remember the name of the person. I'd have to go back and find it. But they were talking about how Michael Jackson's still alive. And they saw him in the back of, the, of his daughter, uh, daughter's car, like, hiding, kind of. And hey, him getting out of an ambulance that he was supposedly supposed to be dead in, and I'm just I don't know. Kramer, you have any words on this? Creepy shit, man. All right, so it's, it's hard to it's, it's hard to pinpoint whether if you like think this stuff's real or if this stuff is just people making things up just to try to get a reaction out of people. But you know you can never know because there's we've been lied to so many times by say if it's even our own government. If they're even behind any of this stuff, so it's it's just it's hard being put in this type of perspective to understand what's going on and to factor if it is real or not real. Yeah, you really, you honestly, you just have to take in the facts or stories, quote unquote, that you hear and make your own judgment. Because, like you said, we've been like told things by every side available: the government, yeah. like people, well, media. Well, like, it's just like all well, like. And I know this probably isn't like the most historically accurate way of looking at this, but I know you guys. I don't think you guys have seen it. I think Kramer may have Wu Tang on Netflix. The Wu Tang. I've seen it, but I've okay. Seen it. So Riza, who was the main guy, mm-hmm. Prince Rakim, all that, who started Wu Tang, he had this. He produced this and made this show that like describes their upcoming. And I'm not gonna try to get in a lot to spoil it, but it's like you really watch this and just like the way when you. So, like, they basically take RZA, which, and this is a real, I think, this is in the show. Before Wu-Tang, RZA was Prince Rakim. He made, like, just really poppy R&B music. He had a handful of songs, a couple that were big. But it's like, they take this guy who is obviously talented in other ways. I mean, he literally created Wu-Tang Clan. But then it goes through, and they just force him to go along this whole tangent, basically, that isn't even for him. But it's like, at that point in time, like, they don't really even need talent. They just need a face. And that's how it works. Like, like what he was doing, like, they pick a face and they make you that person. Mm-hmm. But then once they get rid of him, he's done. Because he was no value other than just a placeholder. Well, but when you get into that, and then it's like crazy. Well, then it goes back and then 
him and all his group, whatever. There's a lot of different politics in the show, but they go in and it's all historic. It's accurate to the show of Riz's point. And it goes in and then they end up getting big off this and they end up being one of the biggest rap groups of their era, which is just like weird to think because it's, I mean, you watch it. I mean, they're literally just selling crack to pay bills. Like they're selling crack, their brother's in jail, and then they have to start selling drugs still to pay bills and the whole thing. Like they're drug lords basically. And it's like, well, how does this go to that? Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way with that Hoffman exterior thing that they made that happen. Like, not to discredit them, it's just like, I'm, I'm sure it's possible, but their odds are so hard against you. Like, just for it to be dumb luck is almost unreal to believe. I mean, when everything, everything just goes right, and I mean, at the end of the day, especially at that point in time, you know how many fucking records that go through just one place before? I mean, there's hundreds of them, hundreds upon hundreds of them. I mean, even in today's world, look how saturated that is. Go to SoundCloud. Like, how do they pinpoint these people? Because, like, look at someone like fucking Little Pump who comes up. Like, he that had no talent. He disappeared. He had no talent whatsoever. Good. Like, they come and just no talent whatsoever. Make this money off just garbage just because it, it's blown up. It's forced in their heads. It, it's, it's forced It's all who you know at that point. At that oh, given yeah. point. It's like, say you know someone that's down the lines that knows another person. Um, uh, they kind of, like, um, uh, depict that in... Uh, uh, Dave with uh, him getting into a studio to record with I can't remember what rapper they had on there but then he passed him down the line to another person that's only that's how they can get n- noticed now these days well and that's how but that's how a lot of them come up though which is somewhat understandable but it's like okay look at Eminem and Dr. Dre which I will say right now I'm not an Eminem fan but can't relate love Eminem. the fact that like like but like you're gonna get what I mean here like, what's appealing about him at that time other than, like, I mean, he's edgy and it's all shock factor and he made a career out of it. You can't deny that. When he first started making music, he was edgy and it was shock factor and he made a career. He was the first was person to do what he did, good or bad. That's why he got popular because it was new. He got popular because it, what he put also out there was different than what we've been hearing. It's No, everything he made was new. Was him making fun of himself, which is a, a key thing to Maybe actually get himself out there. It's kind of like, look at him and Lil Dicky kind of have the same exact way. They both are comedic style rappers at first, but then now Eminem's turned to a more serious within the, the past five to ten years. Uh, I kind of disagree with Lil that. Lil Dicky hasn't gone serious. Yeah, I disagree exactly, with that. Exactly, because Lil Dicky I mean, still... It, I don't think Eminem impressed. was even comedy. Eminem was mainly shock factor, but it's like... I mean, I guess like Dr. Dre is just someone who's like... I mean, he's about to hustle. He's going to find some money in it, anything that's popular, anything that's there. But like, how the hell does Eminem meet Dr. You know what I mean? Like, how does Eminem come across Dr. Dre? Like... How does this get decided? It's got to be... It can't be more than just, oh, this person has that talent. Because, like, when you get the most... Most of these rappers, very few of them are actually, like, anything crazy, you know? Did Eminem come across Dr. Dre or did Dr. Dre come across... Dr. Dre... I know the deal is Dr. Dre found Eminem and was like, hey, I'm assuming finding his music elsewhere. Yeah. But it's like, when you have someone that making that low quality music... Because you're going to make them low quality music. I mean, how... There's... And especially in today's world... I mean, there's, there's hundreds like of thousands of people who can do that. There's a hundred. Like, how do you but pick like, that one person? Like, it's just a placeholder. That's what most of them are. We may have lost Kramer, but like, <laughs> my it, got turned on. <laughs> really? it, like, the no. way I see it is like, I get like a hundred other people could do that, but like, you got to trust your gut. And if his gut told him like this guy has like maybe something that the other ninety nine don't have, I'm gonna put all into this and. Like, well, but, for him. well, and I'm not even saying along the terms of like an Illuminati standpoint, which yeah, I mean, just like, I would say it could be larger. I wouldn't even say necessarily being like an Illuminati, it could be just a single person. Because, like, fuck, if Dr. Dre walks up to you on the street, and chances are, like, you probably don't, like, you wouldn't recognize Dr. Dre if you saw him more than likely at that time. Like, he was fairly popular, but it wasn't like he was just a producer. Things weren't as, um, things weren't recognized much because there's not as much media at that you time. You knew his name more than like his you face. Yeah, you wouldn't even know his face more than likely. And, like, he comes up to you, like, and then you're Eminem and say you're, you mean, what, like, 45, 48 now? And you're out here. I mean, you literally do owe your life to this guy, though. I mean, you he, still, he like, basically he basically gave gets. you everything. Like, yeah. it's not, maybe not now because you've got enough money you can get away from it. But, but when you're you. Eminem who just drops, like, Slim Shady, like, the real Slim Shady comes out, you owe him everything. Because after that, you start getting that money. He's your channel to your money. He's managing your money. He can hold your money. He made you. Like, you sold to him. So, I mean, and people are greedy. So, you're eventually going to get up this chain. And it's just going to... It's almost like a pyramid scheme. It's just going to keep growing and growing you and growing. It's all enabling. make you money. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's it's, it's literally almost a pyramid scheme. Because you have right. one guy at the top who owns the record. And then it just trickles down. 
and necessarily there's steps skipped other places, but you just have this. There's so much loyalty because of the game for what you're getting that the next person, I mean, people probably doing some pretty goofy shit. I wouldn't doubt it. Money but makes people crazy. Power does too, and there's a lot power of power too. There's a lot of credibility in that. One last thing about the Illuminati and the whole fake death stuff. Yep. The only celebrity I hope who faked his death is Mac Miller. Because I want him back. R.I.P. But Shadow, this is not related. But I kind of want to bring this up because I think this is a crazy conspiracy theory. Yep. It is actually pretty related. <laughs> it's kind of a long Illuminati type thing. Okay, so. Person I met a long time ago, they were very big into this. I've watched. They forced me to watch many videos on this one night at their house, and it was ridiculous. And so, like, people believe. That celebrities are recycled, I guess would be the way to put it. So like, like there's people who like believe that like okay, so like Jimi Hendrix, they believe Jimi Hendrix didn't die. They believe Jimi Hendrix died and became Morgan Freeman. Oh, like they believe and like they go back and like oh you have facial scans and Morgan Freeman can play the guitar and they go back so like they believe it was basically like this is all put together. Jimi Hendrix dies and then it just. On to the next one. He's Morgan Freeman now. And, like, there's a big thing. Like, I know people believe, like, Walt Disney's the same as um, Hitler. No, I'm not saying it lines up at all. I don't I don't believe in this. But I just... <laughs> just finish it. Just finish it. Just finish it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I forgot. I forgot. Like, it is... Forgot. This is another <laughs> thing that kind of runs along that. To me, that... The Illuminati thing to me isn't believable. This is insane, though. Like, Does. to believe that they're recycling celebrities like that is crazy. Does a Jimi Hendrix Morgan Freeman, like... They look they line up. Like they, they, act, they, they the, the time frames yeah. line up, and they do look a lot alike. The time frames line up. Like Morgan Freeman starts acting right when. No, Jimmy no, Hendrix no. Morgan line. Freeman's age and stuff lines up to Jimi Hendrix, and they do look quite similar. And I, I, I'm going more off like YouTube conspiracy video things and just word of mouth. I love following down those rabbit holes. So. <laughs> for that to like almost be makes sense to be true, it would have to be like where Jimi Hendrix dies and then Morgan Freeman's born. No, 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 it's not like it, it's not like a Hendrix dies. It's like a say you have this not even let's not even say like Hendrix or Morgan Freeman. Let's just say like Jim is born, raised up, he's a guitar player for all this amount of time, then they're like, Okay, we're gonna fake your death and you're gonna be and they fake actor. Jimi Hendrix dying and then Jimi Hendrix then that person just kinda goes on to the next thing and becomes an actor and now he's Morgan Freeman. Like Speaking of that, dying and going and something else. I'll let you finish your topic, but I'll have a topic. I'm though. honestly pretty done if you want to switch. Okay. I just want to no, it's not that. switching. It's kind of the same. Um, if you die, say... Oh, God. In two years, Go three, ahead. four years. I'm not knocking. Can I reverse mine? Go on. Anyway, what would you want to be turned into? COVID. Like, or... Oh, like reincarnation? Yeah. Yeah, I reverse mine, Jerks, but go ahead. I don't start me. That's a hard one. I don't fucking know either. I don't want to be reincarnated. I want to join the collective knowledge that is the universe. <laughs> okay. All right, Zach's cut off. <laughs> All right. Um, no, I'm feeling like a... I, I want to ascend. I don't want to be like... I don't want to be Rocco, basically. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, not... Nah, okay. Look how carefree and awesome his life is. What's Rocco? Huh? What's Rocco? Rocco? There's only My, one. There's only <laughs> the real Rocco. There is our friend's dog, and then there is Travis's dog, Rocco. Yeah, there, there is, there's Sydney's dog, Rocco, and Trav's dog, whose name Sydney's is Sydney's dog, Rocco, is cute, though. It's a... No, it's cute, Rocco. Stop a it. mini Stop. Aus- Australian Shepherd? It's an Australian Shepherd. It's actually a pretty cute dog, but Rocco is superior. Cute hey. dog. Name won't stick. Like, there's only one Rocco in town that gets acknowledged. Would you name your son Rocco? I mean, I would... <laughs> Not to say this in like a bad way. I feel like Travis to FaceTime us. Meet Rocco. Well, no, I'm just like, I think me naming my son Rocco would be kind of like an asshole move. Like, it just uh, okay. wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. I got more Roccos than like, you said. Like, like, with, like, with my dog, it's funny because like it's a good name. And it's a fun name to yell. We're like, Rocco. It's fun to yell. But, like, yell me naming right. my human child Rocco just seems kind of like oh, an asshole move. Call Rocco 2 Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that's Sid's dog. <laughs> Rocco to Electric Boogaloo. Just That's call, cooler though. Just call, no, no, no. Just call your kid Electric Boogaloo <laughs> if you name him that. I'm not going to if I don't die. If I do die, I don't. I don't want to die. I mean, I'm, but can, I can we all dog. stop knocking? We're obviously not going to die. We might, but knock, be cool. Knock! I'm down. My fingers are crossed. Alright. Alright, what's the next topic? Are you down? Jay. I thought this was a porn hobby joke. I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus. Badass.
Yeah, we're here right. at some. You Jeff haven't heard this because you ain't been here. That's Jay's. Boys, I hate to cut you off, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off for the night. No, you're good, bud. Oh, Kramer, we just ask that you pray that the audio on the podcast works out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> this computer hasn't crashed yet. I've been staring at it this whole time. He's been it's chugging. So I just but, love looking at the kick. Kramer. We need to post at least a snippet of what the audio, look, the video looked like. I love, like, move your hand and watch the delay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's, it's dog, really yeah, it's dog shit. Hey, Kramer, I'll you focus on feeling better. Me I'll send the videos you, to you in the morning. You. Uh, you're already listening to it. The audio, the video version on like, YouTube is probably going to be later because it is taking forever for me to upload these videos to a drive so Kramer can get them. Because Kramer has to like, mesh the audio with the video and all that. But Jay... We're on the jabbing with Jay, so go ahead and go crazy. So on this week, I was talking about a show I just finished the other day. It's called A Teacher. It's on Hulu. It is super fucking weird. He I've seen so the previews. <laughs> Kate Mara is fucking hot. I don't, I don't know her name. That's her name. She's go fucking on. hot. What's, what, can you repeat the name of the show? A Teacher. Literally called A, a Teacher. teacher. Literally, yeah. What's her name? Kate Mara. K-A-T-E-M-A-R-A. And uh, the show is about... A um, I don't know. How, a high school teacher. She. What's her name? Kate Mara. Kate Mara. Ah, she's a. Hot she. Uh, bangs her high school students. Fuck yeah! Uh, yeah. What are these what's teachers when I was school? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. We'll talk about. Names. No, don't say names. Exactly. We'll talk about this later tonight. <laughs> she wasn't that hot. Continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways uh, this kid is uh, named Eric. He's pretty much bangs this teacher, and uh, I don't really know what to say. But it's just so weird. But she like, she has a husband and everything. Actually, this is the first thing I've complained about anything on what's it called Jab with Jay. <laughs> I don't like the fucking time frame. It doesn't add up. What's the time frame? It's like they first meet. Or no, she gets a job at the high school. She gets to classes. They meet. She starts tutoring him. He gets to go uh, date to the homecoming prom, whatever it was. And then he skips with her that night. They go bang. Hell and yeah. then it goes that Monday. And then after that goes that Monday, it's just fucking... You have to really pay attention. So is it a series or a movie? It's a one show. It's a series. It's a se- like a one-season series? Yeah, one season. Well, one so far. Se- there's one season, but I'm sure there'll be more. No, it's, actually, I don't think there will be another oh, season. And so is it about, like, they're, like... Is it about them doing it, like, sneaking it out, or, like, is it, like, like a news story, like, oh, she's been caught doing this, blah, No, blah. It's, this is the first time she's ever done anything like this. Uh, I think she just grad. I remember right, she just graduated from college, so she got her degree, and then she went to this teaching job, and it's about them sneaking out, going around, he goes around his mom and his friend's backs, because obviously she doesn't know why I didn't know, and then, uh... Can you hear that, Tasha? Oh, God. And then, um... You know, you cut off? No. Give me ice. Oh, even better. I would love some ice. <laughs> Let's bring that whole bag in this in the freezer, please. Okay, in like five to ten minutes. Yeah. I'm doing great, so... They'd have a dart. <laughs> They're having a dart? They'd have... Chad, I'd have a dart. Never mind, I can't say that word. <laughs> Sorry. So... <laughs> anyway, my bad. But... You're all She, uh... I can't... I want to say her name's Kate on the show. Is drawing, I'm drawing a blank. That wouldn't... Just call her Kate. So I'm gonna call her Kate, but uh, she has a husband, and they can't get pregnant. Spoiler alert! Should I spoil it? Uh, don't spoil. Don't okay. spoil because I mean Fair I enough. assume like people might hear these. It's things on. It's only on Hulu. I watched on Hulu. Get, people might want to give the show. A I, show. I, I think it's a Hulu exclusive. I don't, I don't know. I watched it though. It says like fucking shit. It doesn't show any nudity or anything, but Damn. it says like fucking stuff. So what a waste. Your note, Tommy. And then uh, I mean it's, it's pretty good. What? But the only thing, my bad. Let me get it off again. No, you're all good. Another thing about the show that it's, it's a little fucking um, annoying. That's a little what's it called pet peeve of mine. Is these motherfucking actors who are like 28 to 30 acting years like old high trying kids. to act like they're fucking high school? It's like no. I, I love those memes. It's like just some fucking kid shredding with a six pack. It's like it, he's the nerd at the high school. It's like uh, what? Exactly. It's just like so. So is it like a? It's like a drama type of show. Yeah. Not really like a. I thought it was shit in the chat. So, so it, it's it's like a drama. I can't really word it. Any it's pretty much way. a teen drama, kind of not really teen, like a teen high school type yeah. drama. It, it, that's its own genre. There's plenty of shows like that. 
I'm not hating on them. I'm just saying. No, yeah, this one was pretty good. I've seen it on like TikTok and Twitter a little bit, so I'm like, I might as well give it a try. And I did. I finished it on about three days, I think. How many episodes? 10 or 11. Ten, uh, that's not bad for uh, one time. But they're series. like 28 minutes long, but they're not very long at all. All right, without like. Is it spoilers to ask if there's going to be a season two, from what you can tell? No, that's fair. Is there going to be a season so, two? Or did, yeah, no, you can like. Yeah, if you is there going to be a season two, or did they resolve it all? I don't think there will be season two. Okay. From why would you do that? That's such a stupid idea. Why would you make a show that only have one season to it? Like, do you just not want to gain? I don't know. That's a whole different. I mean, topic. given your budget, if you make enough off one season to cover that show, and then like justify making a one season, I mean, show, I guess I that's fair, it. but. Like I will give a little it'd be a little bit of spoiler. From season nine or from episode nine to episode ten, it jumps ten years. Like oh, the end of oh. the end of end of episode nine ends and then the beginning of episode ten is like ten years later. So that's the only thing I'll say about that. That's another thing I don't like about the time frame. Because it's like it's like episode six I think ends whatever, no big deal. And then the beginning of episode six you gotta pay attention because Spoiler, I guess. He graduates from high school and goes to college. And so, like... You gotta know what's going on. Exactly. If you're gonna be... You, you, it's not a thing you just sit there playing on your phone. Exactly. It's not like Lost where you have to fucking sit there and just stare at the goddamn TV the entire goddamn time. That's why I quit watching Dude, Lost. I will never... Spoiler alert, I'm never gonna talk about Lost on the show. I watched two seasons, I think it was, or whatever. Or however many it was. I, I got... Know. I got to, like... there. There's easily 12 seasons. Yeah. I watched, like, two or two seasons, and I'm like, yeah, I... This hurts my head, because you don't look. If you don't pay attention to every single fucking minute, you'll miss something huge. So, Chaz isn't on the notes for some fucking reason. He was though. You not have the notes? No, he's not on the rundown. I know this is kind of bad timing, and I will also say this: they actually took the office off fucking Netflix. They did. Yeah. Yeah. It, like as of today, it's only on today? Peacock. As of really? yeah, it's really? only on Apparently Peacock. They just had it at, uh... It's on Peacock. Australia no, and UK. Right? UK. If you have a VPN, you can watch it on UK really easily. I don't know how to do it on, like, I don't know how easy it is on smart TVs. You Ooh. can't do it on Xbox, obviously. You probably do it to really my knowledge. You can do it easy on Fire Sticks and shit. I'm oh, sure Fire Sticks and uh, Chromecast. Because I've done that on Fire Sticks, but. Yeah, that is ridiculous. They've made it very hard really to it. enjoy The Office, one of my favorite shows. Before we hop topics, Jay, rate that show out of 10, and would yeah. you recommend it? Um, I rate it eight out of ten or eight and a half out of ten. Honestly, uh, that's just me. I would recommend it honestly if you have time and want to watch it. Already from what you've told me here, I'm gonna watch it. It sounds <laughs> interesting. I I don't know. I kind of like uh, shows that like have a time skip because like you do? I I do because like I get kind of invested in like how stuff turns out, and time skips are like they're like whole other seasons without you have to wait for a yeah. whole season. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, it skips from like winter to fucking summer in like one ep- uh, one episode. So what you're saying so. is make sure my phone's in another <laughs> room so I can full focus on it. Yeah, don't be hitting the group chat up or anything like that. All right. Hell yeah. And that is a teacher on Hulu. A teacher. Kramer's gonna listen to this, and I really wish he was here for this because some of this stuff is his idea, and he's kind of, um, I mean, got to give the guy credit. He's kind of the one that put this together for okay. us and stuff like that. And I mean, I, w- I would say that... um. I mean, I've been really trying to be a little better about I'm helping sure, him out with stuff. Because it is a lot of work to do all this, and we really appreciate him. And him being not being here really does make it hard on us. And it's just a bummer. We like and, we that, that too, but I'm just talking from, that like, too. I guess, a business side is where I'm like, trying to be professional. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I do appreciate him a lot on this. He started this. He does a lot for us. And, I mean, I've really been trying to make initiative to help out. Like, he's got, he's been sending me some stuff I've been reading, really trying to get better at it. Because I want to take the load off him. Because, I mean, it's a lot, it is a lot more work than you think. But... Um, our plans for 2021, and I know we've talked about things, and so like first quarter 2021, which is like first three months, at the beginning of the first at the beginning of the first quarter, our plan is to be in a functional studio. Um, I'm getting a lot done on the house, and when we get that going, we will have a functional studio, and that will allow us to do a lot more than just this. I mean, like you see the picture we're set up tonight. What's up? Am I the first person to eat in the dwelling? I don't know. I've ate in there before. I, me and Kramer and my dad had Hardee's dollar cheeseburgers one day. But, um, smoking, that's just so what, what we're going on is first we're going to be an actual studio, and that allows us to make other videos, things along this line. And anything you might want to see, I mean, we're open for suggestions. Uh, we kind of each have like our own, we're, we're on, we all have a lot of different interests, 
which I have certain things I'd like to do that I think I would enjoy, and I'm sure these guys do too if they'd like to get involved and maybe doing more on the outside of just the show. Oh, yeah. But I know like one thing Kramer talked about is he liked to get get bigger in the live streams. I'm, this is his notes besides the last mm-hmm. thing, so last thing is mine. He wanted to work on the live streams, and that would be along with like challenges, and then like he has like Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble live watch-along, which I actually think would be really funny considering we have two people who are huge in wrestling, one person who's watched it a little bit, and two people who haven't watched it since they were... We can make it a fun drinking game. I'd be little kids. Blind. Yeah, and I just Garen, Garen, sorry, Garen. No, I'd be get, drinking a lot. Watching. Guaranteed sixty drinks. Guaranteed. I think it'd be very funny. Guaranteed. And I'd like die. another thing is, we have my house going. I mean, because like right now, like Jerry's house is awesome, but it really kind of Wi-Fi sucks. shit. His parents oh, Wi-Fi are shit. here, and the Wi-Fi is bad. And I mean, you kind of don't want to get too crazy. I mean, there's people upstairs, and, and obviously stuff. you can hear the fucking door open. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> every time not what? trying to talk shit, guys, it just yeah. came at the perfect time. Actually, it's really. Nice. I know, it's the perfect I'm time. We're talking about Charles moving into his new house and shit and sound and stuff. Oh, you're a badass. But, uh, so, go, go ahead and get iced up. And we'll take, like, just a second and get iced up. And then... Okay, so... And, the, and so, like, with these live streams and things like that, I mean, it would be much easier to just kind of set things up and get going. We can watch these things. This will allow us to do a lot more than what we currently have. And, I mean, this would also be, like, they said Royal Rumble. Uh, Kramer was also thinking maybe some NFL draft watch-alongs, things about them lines. Oh, no. I'm, think, like, I'm thinking of oh. fucking, like, the camera actually So, so all of us do that, and, I mean, I would say, like, me, Jairus, and Kramer are pretty involved in the NFL. And, I mean, it's, it's, some of these things aren't for everybody. I mean, it's just how it goes. And, I mean, any other things that we might find available to live stream. I was honestly thinking about the next Paul fight. Trying to live stream that if we're able to do so, I think that would be fun. Oh yeah, it'd be we'll lo- it'd be Logan and Mayweather on February. January twenty third. We're it, staying it, here. I thought it was February twentieth. No, don't give a fuck about the Floyd fight. January twenty third, Conor McGregor fights again, and I am not missing it. All right. Well, either way, uh, we can I'll live stream it. You guys can go out. I'll stay home. I don't give a well, fuck. Well, I'm saying we I'm do this. It. We do these things at my house too, like a studio. Hell yeah, I'll do whatever but, um, you want, Trav. I'm saying like we like to Come do things along the lines. And then um, Kramer is real big on skits, which kind of makes me a little nervous just because it's something that I've never done. It's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I would say all this is. So I'd be very happy to maybe move into new things. I mean, we did that little CBD commercial, but I mean, I really think with a little bit of work, we could go a long way with what we have. I, I think we've gotten to the point where we're doing things fairly well. And uh, something Kramer and I have talked about, and this is kind of just my thing because this is something I don't get to talk about a lot on here because no one else is into it. Uh, Kramer... Thought about me trying to do some shoe reviews. I mean, I have two pairs of shoes on the way from StockX right now. I got a pair of ones. Yeah, uh, my ones are going to be here on the fourth, and my Comade Garcon Aces July threes. They're probably going to be here by the. It's by the fourteenth, and um, I'm I'm always on sneakers app. I'm always trying to pick up shoes. I mean, I won't keep them all. I I would plan to sell some, make some money if I could, but I would say um that's something that I I see a lot of people are interested in, and, and I mean I absolutely love the shoes. I mean that's something that I am very very big on. I mean I'm wearing shoes tonight so but um just kind of moving on with that what we might want to do and i mean if anybody else has anything to talk on this this is just something i figured first episode of the year this would be a good good subject to kind of get an eye on and once um, what well, like not to cut you off once the, no 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 you talk what's the like the dual lanes up and running we have like a, a, a legit studio it'll be so much easier to make just one-off videos like of trash yeah. like shoe reviews like what you see likes that are coming out or Whoa. like Advice on how to go about buying yeah. the shoes off that app. What's a good price? What's a good type of shoe to bring? Uh-huh. Keep going. You're good. Um, he's your guy for that. Cause I, like, well, I, don't say I'm the guy. I, I do it. I enjoy it, but I'm not the guy for it. But. If you want, just like, I'll talk shoes with anybody. <laughs> exactly. Like talking to Trav about shoes is like talking to like an old friend about. It. You get like an insight. It's biased, but like he's not gonna steer you wrong with it. We'll try not to. Exactly. I probably I could depends what style you want, but I kind of got my own things. That's kind of what I do. But what were you about to say, Chad? Yeah, you, you get to steal your Wi-Fi or your uh, the Wi-Fi from your parents' house? I don't think. Well, I've talked to my parents about getting a Wi-Fi booster and seeing if it would work, and they're totally fine with it. Oh it, fuck yeah! Hell yeah! I'm, I'm debating that. If I have to pay for it, I have to pay for it. I'm a grown up. I part of me wants to just, just pay. run an extension cord from your house. <laughs> Ethernet cord out. all the way over. <laughs> no, for like electricity I'll too. Help you <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just all of it. <laughs> just just have a generator running. Just have a house have a single two twenty 20 plug in on the outside of my house. Mm. I just pop. No, um, oh, I, so I'm, I'm I'm planning on and um like I, I've talked about it over and over and I mean I think I can make the deadline. I'm really hoping February first that uh, my birthday party's at my house with. I'm sleeping there. I'm living there. What is your birthday on? 
It is on a. I looked the other day and I already forgot. Wednesday. Um. Yeah, it's on the middle of the week. But um, that is the plan. I, I would very much be in there. And once, and once we're in there, I mean, our studio, like we, I mean, obviously, like we're gonna decoration, all that. What we want to do is gonna be another thing. But it'll it'll be built up little by little. But it'd just be so easy, just rather than coming up to Savannah and we have, well, you've seen, we literally just set a laptop on a box and have a mic. <laughs> and, and I mean, I think the, the the quality is much better than it used to be. But I would think once oh, we yeah. get in my house, like. I would say we could have better lighting. We can have something more permanent, but much more roomier. Production quality goes up a thousand. Jer Jerry's and I aren't the smallest guys. We're both in this booth, and I mean, it could be a lot worse. I'll just say that. But I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot of weight in this booth. But we, we would we would like to spread out, be a little more comfortable, kind of get on our own, and this would just create opportunity for a lot more. I mean, there's been a lot of talk amongst us too. We really want to do a 24 hour live stream yes. once we get in the dwelling, get it set up. And we think we're finally going to pull the trigger on it. We'll do a Twitter poll um, sometime this week. And if it gets just 10 votes, we'll do it in 24 cool. hours. So I was thinking the 24 hour live stream, I obviously need to be in my house before we do this. Oh, without a doubt. And uh, once we get in that situation, I mean, but like I said, February, and I mean, I probably won't have like a kitchen fully running and everything, but won't need it. I would say in the summer, I would say like hopefully in the summer, we, we can really run this. And I mean, I'd like to actually do it. I would like to have a, we'll have a rundown of, I mean, I thought about getting, like, a big-ass whiteboard, and we'll just write, like, every hour what we're supposed to do. And m multiple guests. We'll have to have multiple people. Oh, without a Different I think, things. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think Kramer said in an earlier episode, he did the math. If you watch Letterkenny from season one to season eight, at least, it's, That's like, 20. That's 21 and a half. 21 and a half, plus this season nine. It's, it's like nine 20, episodes. It's, 20 almost, minutes, it's almost 25 hours. Without a doubt. So we'll have Letterkenny playing constantly, just as our clock. We'll but, see. Um, we'll see how accurate it is. But I mean, if uh, I mean, we're very open for if anything else you guys think might be interesting. We're just kind of playing with it. I mean, we, I would say Kramer knows a lot more from sports radio. But I mean, we really did come into this very blind. And I mean, I've had a blast, and I, I want I want to keep going on. I really do enjoy it. And um, I'm looking very forward to being in a situation where I can do things other than just this weekly. I mean, I I would like to think, and Kramer and I talked about this, and this is probably getting a little too logistic for this podcast. But um, we talked about maybe multiple channels, situations where we don't need to just have different things on different channels. If it is each of us having our own individual channel or what that may be. I mean, also, if we got in the situation where we're li I'm living in my house, we're all set up, and we get going and something big happens, we're literally a walk to the other room away from recording. I mean, and I'll probably end up buying a laptop so I can record myself. And we'll just – we'll be set up so – it won't be a two-hour ordeal to record. We literally can be watching something at my house, hanging out, and say, boom, walk to the next room, hit play, and be going because we'll have a proven, tested setup. Cords ran, everything rigid, everything fixtured, everything great. Like and, I'm, it's, it's, it's relieving. And the best part, the topics are endless. Like, yes. no, yeah. one day, Trav could be giving you a rundown on a nice pair of shoes that are coming out, or Jay's rating a new Netflix series that came out. The next day, we're all for beating the Halo 2 campaign on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah, because like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I mean, I, I, I don't game a lot so much anymore, but when this new Halo comes out, I, I keep telling myself that I'm probably going to round up every single Halo game and play them through. But I've got them all already. We're covered. You already do? <laughs> yeah. we're gonna, we're, we are going to do this, but... I'm sorry. I think that kind of probably was a little bit of a tangent. But we'll, no, no. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll, no, we'll, without a doubt. <laughs> Chaz hasn't heard most of these because he was Trust me. It's awesome. I don't know why the monkey's in there either. I, oh, they, I have not been here past two, two, three. The three monkey's weeks. badass. Though. Two weeks. Okay, we well, we're going to do Trust Sports World. Total, I think. This one's going to be quick, and then I think we're going to move on to questions after that. Unless you guys want to do Would You Rather. I'll leave it up to you. Ooh. But um, we're going to go on that. I think Steelers are out. I had faith in the Steelers. I shouldn't have had faith in the Steelers. <laughs> um, they have no run game. Their defense is falling apart. Not even Minka can fix that team at this point. I, I think they're a first-round exit in the playoffs. I had something to say about the Steelers. What? Okay. so I'm surprised I'm, by this, actually. Yeah, I know. I figured I saw your face. Sounds stupid. No, it's not really. So I saw... I, it's about I, Juju's I TikToks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. Good shit. I, 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 I saw, like, I, I obviously see Juju does his TikToks on the middle of the field of every game. And then there's one where he just gets fucking blasted. Yeah. And then there's like, that's what you get for doing the fucking oh, take the, the, Oh, uh, who's that? I it was, a, it was a safety for the Bengals. I can't remember who it was. Lit him the fuck up. 
But yeah, um, that's all I got. So man, ahead. I don't I don't blame them guys. I I'd be getting fired up too. I'm saying Steelers fall apart. Kansas City's winning games, but they're not looking good. I don't I don't think they're looking great. Mahomes has not been Mahomes the past few weeks, but I think playoff time that's gonna change. I think you gotta beat the Buffalo Bills right now. I think that's the team to beat. A little bit off topic, I agree. And no one circles the wagon. Like no one Buffalo circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. But I'm saying, I think the Bills are the team to be. Josh Allen is the most improved player in fucking sports this year. I don't understand how you go from not being able to hit a wide open receiver to just throwing fucking daggers every game. There's 32 teams in the NFL. He was ranked 33rd in accuracy one year. Yes. And then he comes out and he's like seven. He's like... Because backup quarterbacks were more accurate oh, than him. Shit. This year, he's like top five in accuracy. The dude's an athlete. So I mean, he hit his glow up. Bro, he's like 6'5", 240. I mean, has a fucking can. Like, and he, I mean, he is making, he makes two or three throws a game where you're like, holy shit. Like, then, but granted, also, I did shit on, well, I did shit on Steelers. I will say this. They beat the Colts. Second half of that game. They went straight old school Big Ben calling plays at the fucking huddle. Just drawing them up in the sand, basically. It's me. That's badass. I mean, that is super badass. Big but. Ben has to have fucking arm surgery at the end of the year. He's throwing the ball 50 times, like, three straight games. <laughs> and he's fucking fat again. I love it. But go on, Jack. Did he get fat again? He gains 20 pounds every offseason. And then he loses it, and then every season he gains 20 pounds. <laughs> I think I agree, though. I think the NFC Championship is going to be the Bills and the Chiefs. And if not, if whoever the Chiefs play in the NFC Championship, they're going to be... I think the only team that legit has a chance is the Bills. And another thing with, the Pits- with Pittsburgh is they're good, and they have a lot of injuries, though, honestly. No, and Pittsburgh Pittsburgh got screwed by injuries, but they never had a – their offense was never there. They say, never had yeah, the yeah. run game. The I mean, Big Ben's not even that great. I mean, he that last game, Big Ben played a whole game. Their receiving core is just well, explosive. They're fast. They're literally in drops. Yes, but that's bad. Yeah. That's but when saying. they're playing good, ho- when they're catching the ball, holy shit, that receiving core is scary. I can't remember the last time I've been no, Dante jo- I remember that game where Dante Johnson had five drops in the first quarter, and they just benched, they benched him. Yeah, they had like, but I'm saying, like, their receiving core with Juju, Chase Claypool, Dante Johnson. It, I mean, and Juju's the oldest guy in the receiving group. He's our age. He's 23. He's a year older. It's disgusting. Most. But he, they're so fucking good. It's insane. But, yeah, like, drops, pathetic. I mean, I kind of feel bad for Big Ben, but when you can't get a run game going, it's so hard to throw the ball 50 times a game. It just doesn't work. The most catches Juju's had this year in the game is nine, which is good. He's done it twice. Yeah, and he didn't score that much this year in reality. He but, has but am I one of the kind of just – I feel like we need to put that in there just because I don't think we did one last week. And I mean, I'm, I don't really have a team, and I – Probably never will, so I'll just bounce around. But yeah. I think I'm rooting on. I, I want to see Josh Allen because I watched that playoff game last year where Josh Allen legitimately forgot how to play football, and I just really want to see him redeem himself in the playoffs. Because I mean, I think the dude reserves. I've heard him on part of my take. Seems like a great guy. Him and Tre'Davious White seem like great guys. Hilarious, down to earth, just good guys. Hmm. And I, Stephon Diggs it might be my favorite player in the league. Yep. Everyone just shit on that guy so hard. How he's toxic and. Adam Thielen is the superior receiver, and he's fucking eating this year, dude. I mean, he's league and receiving. And when catches. they played Pittsburgh, he got whatever he wanted whenever he wanted it. It did not matter. Just one on one, double team. They couldn't guard him. Just whatever he wanted to do. His footwork and his routes are just insane. He's fast, but he's not that fast in reality. I mean, no, he's, he's catchable. But he's not like Tyree Kill fast. Like, no, but this he's dude gonna, is just skill. Like it's insane. He's always open. He has some of the him and Devontae has probably the best route runners in the league. And, and like I'm I pay money to if the Bills win a playoff game at home, I don't understand what's gonna happen in Buffalo. But, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'm let scared. fans in. I sixty three hundred and, and I don't want to like keep jipping off other podcasts, but I think it's very funny. I remember part of my take talks about it where PFT he was like I think if they set up a deal where they told Bills fans a month before the playoff game, you have to quarantine in the stadium to make sure no one got COVID, they would gladly <laughs> oh, they do would, it. He's like, they'd be out there jumping through tables. and Like, Zach, there's videos, quite a few, that's a big thing the fans do, where they get on top of RVs and jump off the RV on the tables. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> and half the time, they don't break. Dude, it's insane. <laughs> it's, it's, if they don't break, <laughs> they move and they hit the concrete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, dude, it's, oh, it's well, bad. Or, Am I a Bills fan? <laughs> even even still, like the Bills clinched a playoff berth, and this is New York, which is I'm not condoning this. I'm not condoning this. 
freezing and COVID's very bad there. And they go back to the uh, stadium to go home. And there's just thousands of people pot up there just fucking partying. Like, do not care about COVID, which I'm not saying is bad or good. But well, it's a big just, crowd with such a small virus. Stop. Stop. All right. I don't condone that either. But we're going to roll out. We're going to skip what you got this week. Save yours. Oh, it wouldn't be the same without Kramer, to be honest. Let's do, uh, the, let's do the question. I have, does anyone else have questions? It seems like I'm only the one with questions to do. I was too late with putting mine out. I don't ever. I don't know how to post a yellow shit, so I, I can we'll teach deal, you if you'd like to. We'll, know. we'll deal with that after. But what's your? All right. What are so your first points? question is: Does Kramer have COVID? Yes. We're legally not supposed to say this because you're not supposed to rat him out. He has COVID. Yeah, he got. And sick. It's, allegedly, we, we, we were all healthy. allegedly. We, allegedly, we were lucky enough. The times didn't. Work, how much we're together, it is insane. But the times worked out, and we were all fine. Granted, we've all been around it a lot, but it. it we're not the most responsible with it, but that's just kind of how it goes. Um. We we still go out a lot and stuff, which it's not just how it goes. I know, well, no, it's not how it goes. It's what we oh, do, okay. and we understand what we're doing. So we understand the risks. We're not looking for pity. We're just saying like that's why Cranberry's not here. He has COVID. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not. I'm staying neutral on it. But we're not. I'm trying too hard to stay. Next neutral. question. Go okay. <laughs> Who is the best slash worst at handling their alcohol? Zach's the worst. Zach is the worst. I don't Zach's think. I don't think I'm the worst because I know my limit. I don't pretend to be something I'm not. This is my third drink of the night, and You're obviously drunk. I'm I'm not drunk. I'm tipsy. <laughs> Zach's the worst. <laughs> I haven't thrown up the most though. I'll give you that. Brody's thrown up the most recent. Brody's like a most cat. recent, but the most in 2020. Brody's most thrown in 2021 up the most is Kramer. No, I mean 20. Brody. 2020. It's close. Close and Travis fans, he is right because he was been my bad there for a while, but so was Araya. She was puking just as much as me. Araya puked. No, Araya puked like no. She puked weekend. every single morning we drank. Every single morning she slept here, she puked. Seriously, she puked a lot. I, I, I was. He puked a lot outside of bars. There puked. was there was legitimately six. There was six times that I sat and listened to her puke in the bathroom <laughs> and That's laughed my ass off. I gave time. her cheesecake, dude. I'm pissed. I wasted my cheesecake. That was funny. She, she said, I don't think I should eat this cheesecake. And she's just eating it. And then the next morning, she's throwing up in the bathroom. Comes out of the bathroom. And I I'm don't just, want cheesecake anymore. And I'm just giving her shit. And I was like, Araya, you remember at the camping trip when I threw up the glizzies and I ate the glizzy to know my body? She was like, yeah. I was like, you have to take a bite of that cheesecake. She did. Went straight to the bathroom and puked again. It was... I, I sound I said, like an I asshole. That's pretty badass. Year. What? I just texted her and I said, how many okay. times did you think you threw up last year? Someone asked, why can't I be on the show? Well, I don't want to be that guy, but this is literally anonymous. Who's, That's who's the that? point of this. So, I don't know who you are. So, I don't know why you can't be on the show. Snapchat I mean, tried right. At this point, there's a well, very okay, select you, few but of people bitch, who can be on the you? show. Half of them are Noah. Bitch, you Here guess. is the problem with being on the show. We have quite a few people who would like to be on the show. And we're not opposed to that. This comes down to the whole, like, having a better studio. And we don't have a scene. Yes, <laughs> that's this thing. Here, we can't really have a guest very easily other than them standing. Like, when we get you in... You can sit on No, you can't, because I don't know who you are. I have an idea who it is, and they probably could. Once we get into <laughs> the full-on podcast studio in the dwelling, we may have some sort of setup where you can video call, video call in. Excuse or, me. or, I mean, even, like, Just, maybe when things settle down a little bit, like... I mean, we're not opposed to having guests on the show. That's something I actually, I kept saying, now episode 10, I want a guest, a good guest. But we just don't have a good setup for it currently. And the next few episodes will be getting there. But, um, I mean, if you add something to the show and you have something that would be valuable, I mean, get a hold of me and we'll, we'll figure it out. Definitely have a, like, have a topic on mind that you want to talk about. Just be like, can I be on the show to just... No bullshit. No bullshit, essentially. Have something you would exactly like our input on. I really want to know who this is I'm now. Curious. I know exactly who it is. I know exactly who it is as well. Thank you for watching. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, she can't be on the show. When are yeah, we no. going to watch y'all Buck Hunter? <laughs> um, <laughs> when he decides to buy. I gotta get. <laughs> I have to remodel the kitchen and shit. Like when I, we will get a Buck Hunter machine. It, it's just not gonna happen overnight. <laughs> let just, me let me just say. Hey, Trap knocked down the wall by his kitchen. Opened up so much Trap. space. There's so much opportunity for Buck Hunter in there. <laughs> Put your Venmo on Twitter, on the Twitter. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're and have them Venmo be, you. Yeah, we're going to get crowdfunding. I think Hunter. Zach sent this in. By the way, <laughs> I've sent in one question and I've already answered. Not, it. not too cut off topic, but I texted her just to confirm. I said, "How many times do you think you threw up last year?" She said, "Uh, like seven. Not Ooh. true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> not true at all. I threw up like she, seven. Okay. Times. All right, we're gonna go on. What video games do you play? I I play like 
I was playing some Breath of the Wild Zelda on my Switch, and it really just pissed me off, because some rock dude fucking killed me, and I can't find a sword or nothing. I don't know how the fuck to play Zelda, but it sounded cool. And then, like, I played a little bit of Animal Crossing, got bored of it. I just don't play a lot of games anymore. I used to, but just kind of fell off. Come on. I, I play a lot of... I don't play a lot of anything recently. Um... I bought a few games on this, like a, a game sale for Christmas. Um, I play Animal Crossing, been playing Assassin's Creed a lot, maybe some Counter Strike, but really, Raging takes up so much time. <laughs> That's honestly. the thing. I don't have. To, and then by the time I'm like, if it's like a Friday, like last night, and we finally because we record on Saturday, if it's a Friday and I get home and we don't go out. I just realized how tired I am from raging, exactly. so I just go to bed at like nine. Well, not even try being me. sober. Oh, Jay, I think I think that makes you less tired. I don't think I ever want to. Do you try comb being your hair sober. back? Yeah, well, I thought it was just natural okay, like that. You guys got any content? I mean, any, I don't uh, know. you guys play any games? You guys when I used to play games when we all played yeah, we played Fortnite, Fortnite quite a bit. Fortnite, but we didn't 2K. play. But Fortnite. God, dude, I got so fucking bored of Fortnite. And then Fortnite started oh, having like Marvel Fortnite. shit, and yeah, it just got too much. It was OP. It was OP. Fortnite. No, you go ahead. It was too much, and not to like be a bitch. They're just way better than me, so I, I stand no chance. <laughs> well, I love it because my okay, just killed that dude. Yeah, yeah, so we start playing Fortnite, and these guys keep building up on us, and I'm just like, <laughs> the guy that I, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, hold yeah, on, is, hold yeah. on. Okay, this kind of goes along with this. So like, we start playing Fortnite, and Chaz is quite a bit better than the rest of us. He can build a little bit, and I just get super pissed off when people build. Like I'm just pissed. I suck at it. We keep playing, keep playing. Well, I'm getting to the point, like, I'm editing builds and shooting people and, like, editing it back where they can't shoot me. And I'm literally, like, I became who I fucking hated. And one, <laughs> night, one night we're playing, it's me, Jairus, Z- Chaz, oh, no, I know what and Jaden's brother. Uh, Jairus' brother, Jaden. And me, Jaden, no. and Chaz, I'm not trying to be bad to Jairus, but he refuses to build and he's not the best Fortnite player. Oh, I'm bad. I'm, but, I'm not going to say But me, me, Chaz, you know, and Jaden nice are playing, pointers. and we're very decent. I would say I'm very decent. Chaz and Jaden are actually pretty good. And we're going out here... And, I mean, I'm talking crazy build fights. This is a five or six minute fight. 3v1 against this one dude. And he ends up killing Jaden and Chaz. No, he kills me and Chaz. Jaden's last one alive. He shoots, gets Jaden, traps him, kills him. The dude is healing. Jairus comes around the corner, 100 meters out. Just starts unloading on him with a blue submachine gun. Does seven damage to a headshot and fucking kills him. Which is the minimum you can do. One bullet, seven damage. Kills him, wins the game. And I'm like... Not only am I mad. By the way, like, Jairus did not build a single fucking no. Thing. I don't. That's were, why I love with <laughs> teaming with Jairus. Yeah, and we're going in like I kid you not. I'm if I'm that dude, I I'm literally like, and I'm not really a rager, but I'm like throwing controller across the room and turn off because you like. And then you look at Jairus and he's like default skin, default pickaxe, <laughs> and his inventory is like scar, blue SMG, blue SMG, fucking green white SMG, shotgun. white shotgun, and he had a scar, There's attack, and he okay. killed and he killed him with the blue SMG. Disclaimer: One we won, though. Yeah, well, we know, Jairus won out. the game, but, like, I'm turning off, I'm that guy, I'm fucking, because he was good. Let me get he 3v1 down. us for 10 minutes. And why I love playing with Jairus. Reason one, <laughs> he wears that blue goo man skin that we <laughs> yeah, all wear. Yeah. It's an inside joke, it's awesome, it's Give an awesome skin. Goo. That and me assholes, but Jairus also carries five weapons. He doesn't <laughs> care about shields, he doesn't <laughs> care about healing. He shoots one until it's empty, and just switches. It doesn't matter what <laughs> it is. Don't There's been times we've been at like the rivers and shooting guys across the river, and Jairus is a fucking attack shotgun and shooting him. Like, it won't even hurt him. I have seen Jairus with five assault rifles shoot 150 rounds in succession before he stops and is forced to reload. It is honestly why yeah, I play Fortnite. Yeah, I don't true. even play to win anymore. It's to see what Jay can do. Maybe we need to hop on Fortnite sometime. And throw, Best thing I've seen Travis do was... I that, on the farmhouse that night. <laughs> I think it was at the farmhouse. He got a build bite. Or build bite. Build fight. Oh, my God. He got a build fight. Anyway, builds up. Travis is in this fucking box. He has one wall that's his. The dude jumps down on the box thinking that that wall is his. Travis edits a window, pumps his ass. <laughs> Done. And yeah. Travis like, oh my god, yeah. fucking going crazy. And I killed two squads in that fucking house that game, and I'm not that great. And I literally, everyone was all hyped, and I wasn't excited at all, because I was like, no, I hate this. I'm the guy that when I started <laughs> playing this game, that when he'd kill me, I'd be like, this motherfucker needs to get alive. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I'm that guy now. And then I've we played it every fucking night. We yeah. played it I was like, so we played long. every night for a month. I was like, I became what I hated. Like, I'm the reason this game sucks. Beginning of quarantine. My bad. Like, no, you go ahead, Jay. I was just saying, the beginning of quarantine, we played it all fucking lot. Yes, we did. But we... we're going to keep rolling. I have a lot of questions. Oh, and I want to go to the bar. Okay. 
Trav, how is the bourbon drinking going? I have actually drank a whole bottle of Bolt bourbon. I do like it. It's just not good for partying. It's not. You it, can't it's go out more party. of a chill at home. Yeah, it's sipping it, on. Ooh, excuse me. It's more of a like a take the edge off than it is a let's go party. Oh, uh, I don't want to answer some of these. Um, where do you want to take the podcast next, and what are your plans for next year? We just spoke on that. Um, not trying to avoid your question. Just it's already been spoken of. Is cereal soup? Is hot dog a sandwich? I no. we've, we've about talked about cereal being soup prior, and I think the conclusion kind of was like I could understand why I someone. Didn't get that. Did you try it again? Oh, Chad, don't forget to breathe, bud. Um, I would, I would say, I would say, um, like we agreed that I could see where people would think cereal is a soup, but oh, it's, close, but it's so. not. And then, the, as a hot dog, a sandwich, we did not talk about. I mean, it's got bread on it. I mean, I'd say, I guess you can call it a sandwich. I don't know. But you can't call connected. it a hot dog. It's glizzy. Thank you. First off, no, the bread's connected. It's not a sandwich. It's a sub, if anything. Wait, but if Subway, I get that. their sandwich, they cut it down the middle. Subway and sandwiches. Their sandwiches, not subs. Subway's a brand name. <laughs> he's thought about this. That bitch. <laughs> he's got facted. And he's drunk. What the fuck? He's been wait. He asked his question, didn't he? I just thought. <laughs> this motherfucker. The only one I asked was to see who could handle their liquor. I knew he did. All right. Any other thoughts on wait, that we one? Didn't, did we even establish that? No, it wasn't Zach. Who, no, who's Zach can't handle... Who's the best? Yeah. I'd say Trev. I'm pretty good at drinking. But you don't know. No. Okay, see, I'm really good at drinking. I'm just not good at drinking fast. And the thing is, I know when I'm going to throw up. And I just keep going because it's going to throw up. I mean, I might as well just keep going and make it worth it. Nope. Hey, okay. Can I selfish just say me? If you... Jerris, you cannot handle your... You get all loud and start screaming. Everybody does. You do yell a lot. You're, no, you're very loud. You're the loudest person I know when you drink. Hold on. No, he's loud. Stop. Jerris is loud. Jer- I we are in B-dubs. Him. He was... We were B-dubs. We were in... She's not that loud. She's pretty loud. Cap. We, we were in beat ups. We were in beat ups. So Guys, hit, hands down, Jerris, his second crown apple and Sprite. He goes, Ooh, it is doing this shit. And did you see, you see this area over right here? His where we second. Go? The fucking campers over there heard fucking. The campers have heard me before. What's her dick? Campers have heard me. Don't call her. What's her dick? I'm not gonna say her name. <laughs> I'm not gonna say her name. You say Maddie. Maddie's a very common name. She don't listen to us anyway, so it's fine. Thank I'll God. change that. Okay, Jay, go on. Next question. No, that's his. If you were a character from Star Wars... It's Jay's. Not you! Hey, are you Chiefs do- game? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's quit talking about this. Excellent. If you were a character from Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, who would you be? I would definitely be the dude with the long hair with the fucking daggers. I don't remember his name, but he's badass. You say Lord of the Rings? Or Star Wars. Hey! Can I be Dumbledore Part 2.0? Fuck yeah, bud. You do you. I don't. Dumbledore is Harry Potter. No, no, Dumbledore, <laughs> Dumbledore 2.0. Gandalf? Yeah, him. Okay. He's uh, him. You can be Gandalf, Jay. Who is the ro- What's the robot name? R2-D2 R2-D2 or, or the gold one? Time out. C-3PO is the Are we talking about one? Lord of the Rings? Both. Both. Either, Lord either, of the Rings either. or oh. Star Wars. Okay. I've never seen a fucking second Lord of the Rings. I haven't seen Star Wars, so I can't. I'm okay. saying the dude, the guy with the long, the elf guy with the daggers. He's badass in the book. I don't know what talking about. He's friends with the I other I can't remember his main. name, but he's not, badass. Yeah. I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a long time, but that was my shit when I was a kid. Let's watch it next weekend. Me? You didn't answer, did you? That's going to piss Kramer off. I'd be Boba Fett, the best bounty hunter in the goddamn galaxy. He's the best bounty hunter is dog bounty hunter. Shut up. Dude, Beth, dog. Beth, dog. Beth, dog. Beth, dog. Beth, dog. Beth, dog. All right. Like, so what's, one thing, what's one thing you're looking forward to this year, one thing you're not? I'm not looking forward to having to do extra adult shit when I move in by myself. But I'm also looking forward to freedom, so I'll say that. I'm going to walk around the house naked. Oh, 100%. I used to all the time. It was fucking amazing. I love living. Well, not alone, but outside of my parents' house. I loved it. Fair enough. Not looking forward to... Fuck, man. Fuck I'm trying man. to go to school, so I'm not going to look forward to that, because all that's to be honest, school sucks. But, but it's something... If I you can help you out, bud, with Jen Ed's. We can it, do it. It's something you want to commit to, you got to do. Uh, looking forward to... I think it's going to be pretty sweet when Trav has the dwelling. <laughs> Have our own like. But we're gonna keep calling it a dwelling. I yeah, don't I mean, care. Exactly. We told you. We're talking about this earlier. Well, no, it's too. funny because like my dwelling insurance, so I'm not allowed to live there. So like <laughs> I legally have to call my house a dwelling. Like if I'm around, like talking about how like it's a home and I live there, like they can up my insurance rate to the next one. So like this was like it is a joke now, but like this is real shit. Dwelling's like, badass. The dwelling's badass. Chaz, this is yours. Yeah, that's actually what? yours. Is that mine? I bought that for no. you, but I gave it to Jackson and Jason yeah. instead. Oh, this was the alligator thing you were yeah. talking about. Okay, Look, I thought you were talking about the it little. It feels just right. like the gift. I got you. <laughs> Let's go around the but, No, hold on. That's a question. Uh, it, That's a question. Hold on. I asked it. I know. Oh, it was, <laughs> right. Hey, we're going to go around. Chess. 
Uh, Siri, Siri, fuck off. Why is it good to ask you, Siri? One thing you're looking forward to this year, one thing you're not. Uh, I know y'all aren't big into it, but one thing I'm looking forward to this year is hitting new like PRs, personal records in the gym. Oh, yeah. And one thing I'm not looking forward to is... Taxes. <laughs> I don't pay taxes. Order tax. <laughs> Order condoms. Stop. Stop saying that he, on he here. He works us in every week. I know. Somehow. He finds a way to talk about it. I don't know. There's... Think about it. Jay, what are you looking forward Fuck, to? That's a good what am I looking forward to? Yeah, and what are you not if you have one? Uh, I don't know if this is something to look forward to, but I'm going to start drinking again. Hell yeah. That's something Hell yeah. To. I'm drinking less. Uh, Bullshit. I have been recently. I haven't drinking that much from Fair recently. enough. Pick up the pace, pussy. I can try. Can I, before you ask the next question, no, um, what are you not looking for? Yeah, they both have to answer that one. Uh, uh, not looking I thought about, like you did, I thought about going back to Arizona. Not gonna lie. To go to school, to finish that out. But, like, I had to have money and call them and get back into the whole process. And I would be down there alone instead of with, like, Taylor. So. It makes it a lot harder. Just do online classes. I can't. With it. You can't. Like, it's hands on. You can't be hands on. Chaz went to school for diesel tech? Auto and oh. diesel tech. Out of, in uh, MIT. Is it? No, UTI. UTI. It sounds like a disease. In uh, Arizona. Disease. They went out there. He'd learn your disease. But, um, Watch around. College is that's the reason. All right, Jerry. What's your thing you're not what looking you forward know? to? I don't even know. Or you can skip if you want. Three out of the four answers. Can I skip just make a statement? Man. Yeah. This, this goes back to the very beginning of the podcast, the recap, essentially, of the week. Um,. Our friend Brody fell. Oh my! Three times within ninety seconds, trying to get up on the ice. He was drunk, and he's still sore today. And I didn't think to let him know this, but like, if he was still sore today, I could prescribe him some Lost Lake CBD. It would, it wouldn't. It, it, it's not magic. It's a push again, bitch. It it will help alleviate his pains. It will help him get through the day. It's not gonna erase him, but it will make it easier to go through daily life with. And we're talking of anxiety, depression. Uh, you got hammered and fell in Jay's driveway. Um, you're hurt. Maybe you got hammered at the bar and fell because you went out on amateur night. You're about to have sex and you can't get more. Maybe. 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 Can't confirm it. Uh, maybe you're having trouble sleeping at night. Sleep schedule's off. Uh, you're dealing with um, aches and pains because you're older. Trouble getting out of bed. Things along thin lines. CBD can help with all these. And it does not contain CHC. Unless you get full spectrum, it does have a very minor dose of THC in it. And um, it would not get you high, but it would keep you from feeling low. I would not recommend full spectrum if THC is a problem in your life. And right. that's Lost Lake CBD. If you use promo code Tier One, you and that's T I E R One. T I E R One. Number one. Good call. You get twenty five percent off your first order, and it's all made locally right here in the USA. And if you are in the USA, you will get free shipping on your order, which is an added bonus. Free shipping. <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm good. You plug that in there, Zach. Um, let's go. What is your favorite song of all time? <sighs> Zach and I have probably listened to Many Men by Fifty Cent <laughs> more than any song this entire year, and I I don't know why to be honest with you, but that's been the song for a minute now. And it, it it's officially 2021, but when we say the entire year, we mean 2020. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're still in 2020. And it started in December, so we've had that on repeat for a while now. Um, Chaz, crack that trap. Go, you got you a favorite song? Else, Juicy by Notorious B.I.G. What'd you say? Juicy by Notorious B.I.G. It's your favorite song? I, I know every single word to it. I've known it since I was fucking eight years old. I respect it. Why do I like it? Uh, it's a good ass song. I know it. That's the only reason. It's either that, it's either that or Sugar We're Going Down Swinging by Fall Boys. Oh, God. Chaz, go on. Ah, uh, you go ahead, bud. I already went. What'd you say? Mini Men, 50 Cent. Uh, well, go ahead. Mine was Mini Men. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you got to choose? Chumbawamba. No, it's not Chumbawamba Tut Thumping. I mean, we didn't play that much. That's the name of the band, Chumbawamba. They it's sing Tut Thumping. I get knocked down, but I get up, up again. again. That Nothing's ever gonna keep me down. Yeah, anytime Jay would, re- so Jay would die in Fortnite, and he would sprint to revive <laughs> us. And if he revived anybody, we just played that as loud as we could in the mic. Yeah, I remember that. But um, you guys, gotta knock uh, us. favorite song, fuck. I guess I really have just to say play. currently, like, what's your song? Like, if you get in the car right now and you're gonna play, what's the first thing gonna be? What, what, what? Right now? Yeah, yeah, if you get in the car when we leave here, what's uh, the first song you'll play? You probably don't know it. Let me make sure I have the right title. Or the right artist. My bad. It is... Oh, Me Vs. Me my, by uh, Moneybag Yo. Okay. English, please. It, it goes hard. My honor. 
Jay? Jay? I said Notorious Juice. Okay, I'm going to say this is probably Chaz who asked this, honestly, but one-on-one, who's the best bass player out of the group? Of the I got player. fat and I'm out of shape, or I'd whoop Chaz one-on-one again. I'm just too Stop. out of shape. Okay, now, currently now. Currently now, Chaz whoops my ass one-on-one. Me, 20 pounds ago, I whoop his ass. Oh, my I'm just God. saying, this is going back to high school. I haven't touched a basketball since. Um, this is going for Kramer, too. Kramer Jarris says he can block my ass. A padlock put on his offense by me. Um, <laughs> he doesn't get anywhere near the. I actually the remember this because X long is she's so long. <laughs> it's like my arms are twice the size of my body. He's long I, and he's a little quicker than you think he is. I only asked this because Kramer says he can block me. And no, block we're gonna do this two v two thing. His wrist is healing up. We need I'll to get it. Okay. Okay. We need to get it going. I got a whistle. I'll be ready. And new year, new me. I mean, I'm probably like gonna Shut like start going to the up. gym real hard. Maybe get in better shape. Yeah, I know your ass is fucking wide. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Three crowns in. I'm done drinking this year. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I've already started. So we'll, you know, next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, here's we'll a again next here's year. a tell your favorite joke. And I. That's not my kind of humor. Yeah, that's I'm the not, problem. I'm not like a joke kind of guy. I'm like an ob- observation kind of guy. Um, I would say, like, the biggest joke that we had for a while was the off Always Sunny when the guy's burrito's in the fridge. He's like, did you come in my burrito? Like, and the I guy's like, come in your burrito. Said, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, that, that's kind of it been a big one. It is stink eye. And then little stupid letter Kenny jokes. That's really been our thing recently. It's a lot of inside jokes. Yeah, I would really. say we're very much not like a... Um, conventional. We're not like a conventional, like, make, like, knock-on jokes and shit. It's like, pretty much you know, if you know, you know type shit. Right? Yeah, I mean... Um, let's get kind of the hard hitters out of the way for a minute. Oh, yeah. Um, I think Chaz asked that one too. I don't what? Want to talk about that. What's y'all's body count? Why would I ask that? So you one. can brag. Why would I brag about Somebody that? Somebody asked that. I hate mine. I'm not I'm, gonna lie. I do not like mine. I'm going to respectfully deny this question. I think this is something that we shouldn't have to answer. So. I've only ever banged my wife. This is true. Rihanna? For Zach, I would I would say that we're just gonna deny, we're gonna deny this question. This would be the first question we don't answer. You got one out or of four. Do you we can't ha- or do we have to answer it? It's up to you guys. You do not have to answer it. I'm I, just gonna I, say that right now. He just one of us. One of us. He has already to did answer, answer it. it. I answered it. Oh, okay. So. Next question. It's fair. Here's a. All right. So let's get another. You guys want another hard hitter? Or you want an easy one? Hard hitter. Actually, hold on. This goes along with that one. Me and Chaz, we slept with one girl because this one is. Are any of you Eskimo brothers? Now, what is the social security number? Give him a fucking alligator with? back. <laughs> you want her social? The so- yeah. The social? I'll try to get it from her. Uh, All right, and then. 9, 12, 18, 42. It's weird you know that. All right, everyone's going around. This one. What's a personal goal you actually want to work on or achieve this year? Oh, fuck. Zach Stark. You're a goal driven guy. I'd like to go to the gym more than once this year. <laughs> it's fair. All right, uh, we can make that happen. I um I, I kind of like what we talked about earlier moving this on. This is kind of like uh, obviously the like, guy have like my career things like that I want to work on, and that's just that's not near as entertaining. I would say this like this is very much what I would like to do. This oh, yeah. is this is very much what I want to work on. So. I was I was talking to Brody and Meg while you were there. Brody was like, I don't know how he can like work this hard on this house, and I'm like, well, like, correct me if I'm wrong. But it's like you're you're working there just like maybe a few like hours after work every day. I but do about two. I try to do two hours three days a week after work. So three out of my Monday through Friday, that's that two hours a night. And then on the weekends, I mean, I'm I'm usually get her over there about ten and then work till five. But this week I've been like I've been like seven thirty eight to like five this weekend. But correct me if I'm wrong. It's easier not just because it's your house, but like you could see the progress you're making. Well, yeah. Like yeah. like I I've been over. I went over last week. I come back today. You already have all the sheet rock done in your room, your yeah. living room. You've got like a wall knocked down. It's looking nice. Yeah, like but, your February first goal isn't impossible at all. No, I don't think so. I mean, I got a, I pretty much got a bathroom to set up and then finish drywall. But I would say something that I want to work on this year is going to be. I would like to start excelling. Like try to work more on like a YouTube. I would like to get. I would like to learn enough about this shit to where Kramer isn't the only person who's. Not that I'm like trying to like. No, no, do, I you know what I, mean? I just I don't want it to only be him. I want to be able to help him out and be a. I, I want to be a good part to him. So, Jarius, go on. For some reason, the lyric from J Cole's song popped in my head, and it was my goal this year is a real one, go and stack a million. But it's not a real one because I don't even know what I do with a million dollars. So I guess just me being the fat guy I am, I could probably just say lose a couple pounds. I guess. <laughs> That's fair. Jazz. You said pretty much probably the weightlifting thing too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting big into that. You so. kind of already answered that. Um, this one, I, I don't think anyone here is going to have a serious answer for this at all. I have a, I have a story. Have you ever had a bad sexual experience? If so, explain. 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume probably no for you guys. Mine's not really a yes. Why well, well he's actually he has an answer, but if you want to talk? If not, I'll talk first. Mine's funny. Mine's not serious. Go ahead. I'll, I'll... Okay, so I'm not saying anything did happen, but I'm saying I was very vulnerable. We, um, <laughs> me, Chaz, and our whoa, friend Dylan. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, you cannot. This is not starting off good. <laughs> we, uh, we hang out. We go, no, this, we, no, go, we go to this. We go to the. We go to this girl's house. Don't let the dog in. The and it's not his house. Shut the door. Hey, you guys are being loud. She's trying to let the fucking dog in. Okay. Okay. So I did. I did. I'm going with them. We go to this girl's house after the bar. I clearly drank quite a bit, and I pass out on their outside. <laughs> then I make my way inside. Then I pass out on the couch. And Chaz and Dylan, for some reason, elect oh, the idea that we're going to go to McDonald's and just leave Travis here with these two girls we don't know. So, I mean, I'm just sleeping on their couch. They don't, like, I remember sitting on the couch. One of the girls sits next to me and like looks over, like, trying to get to know me. And she's like, hey, you have anything to say or whatever? And I literally looked at her and said, I'm too fucked up for this. And I walked outside, passed her on the patio. Then when I come back, I heard a Kanye song. So I came back inside because I heard some Kanye. As you should. And I passed out on the couch. And then they just left for like an hour to go get whatever they got. I mean, food and shit. And they just left me there for an hour. So I'm not, I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing accusations on anybody. Just saying, if I've had any bad experience that could have happened to me where I was under very little control, like this question will probably tell. It was definitely then. Not, not only anything happened, but like that was my most vulnerable point. So, Jazz, you don't have to speak on it if you don't have to. These, but it's real personal. You don't have to talk. What about was the about question it. again? The if you ever had a bad experience, sex experience. Wait, how'd you have a bag? I'm talking about, I could I was so vulnerable, Chad. I was, I, you left me unconscious at two, a girl's random house. But I don't think they would have. I'm not saying they did, but I'm saying that's like the closest thing They're I have. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. That's the closest I have. That's his. That's what a funny yours? story. That's the closest I have. What it is was yours? not a sexual story, but that's like the closest I have. To like That that leads up to being a bad night to most people, and I was fortunate it um, wasn't. I was Just at a skip. party. Ooh, I know this story. I know this story. Do you? Yeah, go on. Tell it. I was, was at a party there. with Taylor. And Taylor had to go home for reasons that I'm not going to say because I don't know if that person listens to this. No, it's not. Um. Anyway, he had to go home. He was my ride. I was fucked. So I was like, bet. I'll just, in the morning, I'll find somebody to take me home. But granted, I was only like three blocks away from my house, so not, not worried. Um. It was night, you know, it was, it was about, about, I can't say nighttime because it was like 3 a.m. 3 a.m., uh, fast forward, I'm in a bed with this girl, this guy, and this other girl, and this girl just all of a sudden starts, you know, touching me. Don't know who, I know her name, obviously, but I don't, I don't know her like that. Threw me off, and she turns over and was like, I want you to rail me, pretty much. So I'm just going to fast forward. Are those uh, exact words? Can I get a quote from her? <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Because I asked her if she could take me home. But she said she was too fucked up. So I didn't... I had a walk, I had a walk home. Oh. I literally had a walk home. It's only through over exaggeration. No, no, no. It was 7 a.m. by the time. Blocks. No, it literally from Blackwell to Canterland Road. I've made that walk before. It's not far. <laughs> Three blocks... No, it sucks when you're hungover. And... Oh, without a doubt. Any Anything... Any you get physical hungover? activity. <laughs> Yes, I do. No, but can, continue. Please. Anyway, so we go downstairs, and I I did the deed on a dryer. Was the dryer going? No, I wish it was. <laughs> I wish it was because it would have been warm. But no, it was not going. Um, so you couldn't have been like on me. the dryer. The, there was a dirty clothes basket in the corner. We grabbed the towel out of there and used that to wipe off the. Uh, well, it's already dirty. Save the dryer. <laughs> was it my towel? Wasn't my problem. Fuck yes. Words to live by. So, uh, <laughs> fuck. I gotta breathe. He's, guys. So ex- He's so excited. Dude, my watch tells me to breathe all the time. I'm like, fuck off, watch. I can breathe. You see, when my watch tells me that, I hold my breath. Right. You roll in or you're ready for another question? Well, let's go. Let's go. Next question. If you were a zoo animal, which would it be and why? I've seen the videos of the pandas on the slides and shit. That's badass. That's me. Mm. What about the orangutans? They get to go on, like, walls and shit. I mean, that'd be cool, too. But... Jasper? I'd probably be like a fucking tiger or a lion, though. Because, like, you have, like... Dude, the... they look angry. But, like, yeah, the people that walk by, you just fucking literally growl insane. at them. And they like, they're scared as shit. Like, what is it? He has so many fucking questions, Look at all the bro. questions we've answered on this show, look. 
Like, oh, shit. Like, this is for this show? Yeah, this yeah. is just for the... No, Wait. like, all of them. And we have to answer them all. I have two. There's can, so... can I just run through them real quick? No, I got I got two. You should be very fast. Okay. But you guys got to finish your zoo animal thing. What's yours? Well, you know, I have two zoo animals. Okay. Um, I would either want to be one of the snakes that the zookeepers get out to show to people, because, like, field trip. Or <laughs> that's fair. Or like, I'd want to be a penguin because like penguins are nuts at swimming. They actually shit. are. Penguins are cool. Yeah. So and then, like, just imagine, field imagine field. having a built-in sled on your belly. Kramer, we keep <laughs> talking about like, making snippets of the show. <laughs> Snippet that shit. Put that on Twitter. Because no, like, imagine being a penguin. You get sled on your belly. But that that was my day. Do you have one? I was gonna say penguin. Right up here. <laughs> you fucking. Jarius, I have another question for you. <laughs> oh, and this is a serious podcast. fucking question. <laughs> what? This is serious, and you're not allowed to lie on the podcast. Jarris? Did you fuck the pocket pussy that Zach that got Chaz for his Christmas? <laughs> Answer. No, I swear on my life and I by did that, not. By that, he means not yet. Next question. Okay. I asked that question la- I needed to know. The last question is... I should just ask me. I, I can't answer this question, I actually. To. I might. What it's, is it? Who's your favorite wife? Zach can't answer that. Wait, who's whose favorite wife? Uh, it says yours, so... I would say my wife is my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Travis's? Yeah. I'm gonna find out. Travis. Start with the first letter of their names. Just name off your wife right now. Z. But I'm a man. <laughs> Z? We're, we're not doing this on here. Jay, what's your favorite wife? Yeah, Jay, who's your favorite wife? Like, any housewife? TV show. No, 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 just uh, your oh, wife. TV show? Yeah, five from TV show. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's for. Yeah, make, it. make some that to me at dinner. She's like, you better answer this. I said, uh-uh. All right, show. all right. I love my wife, but Meg's like a close yeah, second. Meg's my friend. I like Meg a lot. Meg's a homie. But she's not just a friend. She's a homie. Is there anyone, any other questions? Do you have any more? <laughs> no. We're going to hit closing thoughts and just play the intro and the outro. So I would just like to make a closing statement. Um, tonight at Chili's, Travis and I consumed five bowls of salsa. <laughs> the last bowl of salsa we got, Zach asked for it. Meg said, no, you're cut off. And the guy literally was like, dude, it's fine. Like, I'll bring you more salsa. Meg was pissed. But, I mean. She's we, not my girlfriend. She's just we mi- a close we, second We miss watch. you, Kramer. Um, I it's hope not this, the same with that. I, I enjoy myself. It's a good show. Number 13's in the book. Uh, we're going to keep rolling on them. Uh, see you guys next week. We're going to keep going on it. Watch out for Tuesday for our Letter Kenny episode review. 100%. And, and uh, hopefully Monday. there's good video and good audio on these because yeah. this is very makeshift. Love y'all. Have a good uh, New Year's. Have a good one. It's past New Year's, bud. Shut your mouth.